So a few weeks ago on Twitter, I mentioned that I wanted to buy a Sega Mega Modem uh, for a somewhat harebrained idea I had. Uh, I wanted to have the modem dial into the modem on my PC and have the two communicate and, I don't know, maybe reverse engineer one of the old online games. <laughs> so as you can see, I bought the modem. It actually came brand new in box. I never used, and it works great. There it is hooked up to the Mega Drive. And uh, I've actually had some initial success with the project, so uh, I'd like to show you where things stand. So first of all, the hardware setup, we have the modem, of course, hooked up to an old school phone cable, which is then hooked up to this device over here, which is a Linksys PAP2T. It is a uh, ATA for a voice over IP network, so it will allow you to use your old school PSTN phone devices on a VoIP network. Um, so the Mega Drive is plugged in over here, and over here, uh, this routes to this cheapo little external USB modem that I uh, picked up at a local book off for a couple hundred yen. It's a USB plug-in, so it, it works fine with my my uh, Linux setup, and yeah, uh, for 200 yen, can't beat it. Works great. Um, and on my PC, I'm running Asterisk, which is basically a PBX. Um, does all the routing for the phone calls and everything and uh, in this case I have it set up so that any calls coming in on one line will automatically route to the other line doesn't matter what phone number it is um, which is to say the the Mega Drive can dial any number and it will automatically connect to the modem on the PC so let's go ahead and give it a try and see if we can't get these two devices to talk to each other so I've been using Telltale Mahjong as my uh, test game here so we go to telephone and like I said, we can dial literally any number. So um, what's going to happen is it will dial out here. And over here, I am connected to the modem uh, to its serial port directly. Uh, so I'll be issuing and receiving haze commands to work with the modem. Um, timing is a little bit difficult. I've actually had some issues where uh, uh, if I don't... If I don't answer the phone at the right time, the modems just don't seem to handshake at the right time and things go out of sync and nothing works, so hopefully this will work on my first try. Anyway, so let's go ahead and dial out, like I said, literally any number. Actually, if I turn the volume down here, you should be able to hear it dial out. There it is, all right, so let's quickly set all the default settings. So now it says you and your partner press start at the same time. We should get a ring here in a second. Yep. Let's go ahead and prepare an ATA. Yep, there it is, ring. Let's press start on the Mega Drive and answer the call. Good, good, okay. So the Mega Drive is saying receiving data. And speaking of, over here, let's switch this to uh, Raw data view hex, hex, and we change what I send to hex. All right, so it says connect 1200. That means uh, the modems are connected at 1200 baud. Now I know from previous tests that the first thing the receiver sends is 95, and sure enough, we got some data back from the game. I don't know what that data means, but we are connected and transferring data back and forth. That's a good thing. Um, at this point, this is where things kind of stop with the progress because I'm still disassembling Telltale Mahjong to figure out, you know, what data needs to be sent back and forth. Uh, I know 9.5 and 8.6, uh, whatever those commands do, they definitely get me some, some response from the game. If I type 8.6, let's, there we go, got a little bit of data back. Again, what that data means, I don't know, but it is a start. 9.5, I guess that's another one if I send that. There we go. I think 9.5 is an initialization. If I try to do this backwards, where I uh, dial from the computer to the Mega Drive, uh, the Mega Drive will say they're sending 9.5, 9.5, maybe every 20 seconds or so. And I guess it's expending, expecting one of these strings that it's sending now back. Not strings, but, you know, streams of data. So anyway, there's more work to do, but, um, yeah, it's a, it's a good start. Uh, the, the, my Mega Drive from 1991... 1990 is talking to this 56k modem though it's running at 1200 baud which is much much slower than 56k but anyway hopefully next time i'll uh have something a little more visceral 
Maybe I can actually have the game start and send tiles back and forth. That'd be pretty cool. That's my goal next, so until next time.